Hi, this is Jessa. Um, this is not for my regular group. Uh, this is, uh, I've been in a support group. I was on Xanax for many years due to my agoraphobia and an anxiety disorder. I needed it. I did not abuse it. I've been on for 11 years, never once abused it or overused it. As many of you know, during the opiate crisis, the states were starting to cut off shorter term or people that hadn't been on a benzo for a really long time and just maybe had general anxiety or something off, but left some of us old timers and those that need it the most on. Well, I just talked to my psychiatrist in January. The FDA sent out a notice this January, 2021 already. You were getting scared. Um, <laughs> to my psychiatrist, we're all going to be taken off. Um, the recommendations are going to be Buspar, which if you have ever taken Buspar, me. Um, also the antihistamine, I forget the name. I tried it. It backfires for me. It makes me wired, so I can't take it. Um, and then other things like gabapentin and some other anti-seizure, anti-convulsants off label. Um, I have a, in one of my support groups, uh, I have a German lady who has a lot of American friends on um, different types of benzos. It's not just Xanax, it's all of them. Who wanted a way to warn her friends. Uh, hopefully they understand my English, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm in uh, tapering zone myself, so I'm a little yeah. Um But anyway, so I'm just here to let everybody know your psychiatrist may not be as honest as mine. Mine was very honest with me because he knows my history and knows how long I've been on and how hard it is. He gets it. And he knows I wanted to do the Ashton manual, the British way, of a very slow, healthy, uh, not healthy, safe taper. Um, but that's not going to be possible for Americans. And with COVID, and now on the West Coast at least, the the second covid the mutant, our hospitals are not going to want to see you for benzo withdrawal. So my advice, and I am not a doctor, my advice is um, to understand that you will be cut off sometime this year, if not much sooner, and start making plans for that. And I am not anti-abuse uh, bar. Or it didn't work for me. I'm not anti the antihistamine didn't work for me but you may want to start looking into other options now one of the things that's not being talked about is they're tending to throw anti-seizure and anti-convulsant unscheduled c medicines like gabapentin gabapentin um topamax all those at people in benzo withdrawal um research the withdrawals from those very well before saying yes or putting them in your mouth. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I am not a physician. I can't. But research those before taking them, please. Yes, some of them work. Um, Gab Pinchon helped me a lot in, uh, in tapering, but it comes with its own frying pan, my dear. So... And it might even be worse than benzo frying pans. So um, I'm off now. Uh, I read about it and got off. Uh, just be careful. They're going to be desperate. They're going to want to appease you. They're going to offer you things that may not be in your best interest. Take control of your health. Research. Don't scare the shit out of yourself. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying don't be open-minded and maybe try something that might work for you. But have common sense look at it as frying pans <laughs> and which one you want to sit in because ours is being taken away uh, <laughs> but no it's just it's a warning um unfortunately and it comes at a horrible time because the ER is not probably going to be able to help you right now due to covid so <clears throat> yeah even though it's um the one thing is i do want to repeat Benzos are no joke. Cold turkey is no joke. You can die. It is the one psychiatric medicine that can kill you. 
if you jump off of it too fast. Unfortunately, your psychiatrist isn't going to tell you that. And the ERs are quite busy. So this is something you really need to think about. There's not going to be emergency assistance. It is deadly. Um, doctors aren't going to tell you that. So I am. Um, I wish I had some kind of hoodoo remedy for it. I do for mild anxiety, not benzo withdrawal. No, 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 it's actually deadly. So, um, so I wish you all luck. I wish myself luck. <laughs> Get your St. Jude's out. Um, light those candles up and you know, most of us have gone by the Ashton manual for like forever because it was very uh, common sense and very good, but it's not going to be a possibility for Americans. So we're going to need to come up with our own. So if there are any doctors or psychiatrists uh, checking this out, we need a new Ashton, American style. A little quicker than the 300 day water taper. <laughs> we're in trouble. Uh, so maybe somebody will reach out and start offering some ideas. Um, we're going to have to figure this out because we're not going to have a choice. So there's that news. Anyways, I hope this helps uh, warn people that need warning. If you know anybody on Antivian, Xanax, or the generics, I'm not going to go. I can't even pronounce half those. <laughs> Lazapram, Diazepam, Valium, Calopin, Clozapam. Pan, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what Antivan's generic is, to be honest with you. Um, you need to get this message out to them. It's no joke. My psychiatrist told me today, and I don't think he's lying. And they're not going to be able to keep you on long enough to do the the proper taper. So, <sighs> and of course with COVID, it's really not safe to go into detox centers either, is it? No. Yeah, fun. Um, but anyways, uh, we can get through this. Uh, there's lots of support groups. I belong to one on Facebook that's private. Um, I believe it's called Benzo Recovery. I've already warned them. They're prepared to talk to you. Uh, there's many across the internet. Um, you know, just whatever they recommend to you. Yeah, the abuse bar is fine. It really doesn't have a withdrawal that I know of or the antihistamine. Go ahead, try those. But do be prepared. They're not going to be the same. Um, they may help take an edge off, though, if possible. So don't be afraid of those. Um, but do watch if they start recommending like gabapentin, Topamax, Trazodol, any of those. Um, oh, what's the other one? There's another one. It begins with a T, too, and I can't think of it. Uh, it's another anti-seizure, anti-convulsant. If they start recommending anti-seizures, anti-convulsants, um, just remember, not everything not Schedule 2 or Schedule C is safe either. So Google it, research it, research the withdrawal from that particular medicine before deciding to take it. Um, you may be better off just tapering as slow as possible. Um... You can still watch the water tapering videos. I still highly recommend those. Just realize you're going to have to go a little faster than their recommendations because these were made before the FDA, FDA letter, letter came out. Some of you have already been through this. Some some people are like, we've already been through this, Jess. No, that was your state. That was your state in opiate crisis taking you off of benzo. This is the FDA taking the whole country off of benzo in COVID. Because that's fun. Yeah. Because, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because we're Americans. That's fun. Um, yeah. No, I love my country. I do. Not today. But most days. I do. Um, anyways, good luck, everybody. Uh, I'm not qualified to help you. So don't write, please. <laughs> But, um, uh, research, Google, use your Google, Google it, 
I'm not going to Google it for you. Google it yourself. Start looking up benzo tapers, withdrawals, um, schedules, the Astra manual, things like that. You're not going to have time to do that, but you can take that and use what time you have and kind of break it down and do your best. Um, I wish I could be there for everybody, but I can't. I've got kids. I've got jobs. I, I'm not qualified medically, so it's not, I can't honestly say that to you. I just can't, but I do wish you all the best of luck and, um, here's to a whole new world. Love you.